ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a special attraction, Taylor Bowen Paul. Introducing her, standing to my left, he is accompanied tonight by his tag team partner, Eric Green. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Kelly Drummond plays in Georgia, one half of the two class heroes. Here is Jimmy McKeague. All right, fans, and here we go. It's Jimmy the Kid taking on Rick King live here on Great Championship Wrestling. And this matchup is not about championships. It's not about hatred. This is just pure competition at its very finest between two of the very best stars that GCW has to offer. Be really hard to pick which man has the advantage as no doubt both of these men know each other very well. They have wrestled here before, and this will be a true test of both men's abilities to thrive and survive here in great championship wrestling. Seeing some wrestling ability here in the early stages of this matchup, a very refreshing pace being set here by both of these men. Neither man's really gonna wanna waste any time. At the same time, you do not want to rush into anything and give your opponent the advantage. Standing wrist lock applied there by Rick King, now bringing down Jimmy the Kid so that he can apply even more pressure to the arm. Kid trying to roll through, King now not allowing him to. King is gonna wanna try to keep Jimmy the Kid on the canvas to avoid his tremendous speed advantage that no doubt Jimmy the Kid will have over his adversary here tonight. Old Kid rolling through now, showing that agility and counters the maneuver. Both men are on their feet, but Jimmy the Kid now with the advantage. Old King rolls through, tremendous nip up, and King showing his agility. Both men now jockeying for position trying to gain the advantage from a psychological standpoint in the early stages of this matchup. King against the ropes, referee calls for a clean break and gets it. And that's sportsmanship at its very finest. Both men now to a vertical base. King now with a go behind waist lock on Jimmy the Kid. All brings him down amateur style. And now riding kind of high, but trying to maintain the advantage on the canvas. You know, both of these men are very, very talented and very accomplished in their careers. You know, Jiminy Kidd was a former GCW Tag Team Champion. Rick King, a former Interstate Champion. And beyond great championship wrestling, these men have been making their marks all around the United States. Oh, Jimmy the Kid bringing down Rick King, showing his wrestling ability and now trying to control the submission technician. King trying to find a way out of this. King is known for his exceptional technical skills, and he'll have to use all of them here against Jimmy the Kid. Iron's carry takeover once again, bringing down the Kid and trying to hold him down on the canvas. We're talking about the impact that these men have been having all across the United States. In addition to their success here in great championship wrestling, both men are staples of the WWA4 wrestling promotion in Atlanta, Georgia. At the same time, Rick King is a former PWA tag team champion in the company that Booker T runs in Texas. Of course, Jimmy the Kid is from Texas and has dominated several promotions in his home region. So we're really getting the best of the best here between these two men on great championship wrestling. Oh my goodness, both men over the top. And both men now back inside the ring. And the competition factor is certainly heating up between these two men.
And this is exactly what great championship wrestling is all about. It's about competition. It's about delivering the best matches that you can see inside the six-sided sanctuary. And you're seeing two of the finest right here with Rick King and Jimmy the Kid. And now a Greco-Roman knuckle lock by both men, a test of strength, trying to see which one has the stronger upper body. I do believe that Rick King will have the strength advantage. Oh, but Kid, using King's own momentum against him there, King able to bridge out of the pitting predicament. Kid now brings him down once again, shoulders down, but no. And now King has got to find a way out of this. Oh, he counters. Sending Kid down, now floating through, now Kid shoulders down. Referee right there, and no. Kid using that tremendous neck strength to bridge out of that. Now both men back up, wheelbarrow position. And Jimmy the Kid bringing down Rick King with a side headlock. What fluid nature there by Jimmy the Kid. Oh, King counters though, puts the shoulders down, but no. Jimmy the Kid able to avoid it, shift his weight and maintain control of this maneuver. Jimmy the Kid now maintaining control on Rick. Rick now trying to get back to his feet, trying to alleviate some of that pressure and the advantage that Kid has. Oh, atomic drop position. But Kid holds on and once again, brings him down with a flying headlock takeover. We're getting a wrestling lesson right here in Phoenix City, Alabama and great championship wrestling. You know, the headlock takeover is often mistaken for a submission maneuver, but it's really more of a psychological advantage that Jimmy the Kid is waging right here. Any wrestling veteran will tell you that if you control your opponent's head, you control his entire body. And that's what this is about right here, trying to maintain control on the submission technician. King now back to his feet. He shoots him off, breaks the maneuver. Jimmy the Kid back in rebound, ducks a clothesline. Back again, once again. Irish whip was reversed. Jimmy the Kid ducking his head and sent all the way to the floor. Oh, but Kid landed on his feet. Oh, Jimmy the Kid landing on his feet there. Here comes King possibly with a dive, but no. King to the outside, and now it's Jimmy the Kid inside. Oh, a little bit of psychological warfare being waged here. Oh, Jimmy the Kid now floating through. Went for the atomic drop, but it's countered into the backslide. There's the cover, and no. Two count only. Oh, King bringing him down with a hip toss. Once again goes for the cover, and no. Oh, and King is quick to grab the arm and make sure that Jimmy the Kid maintains his position on the canvas. Almost a variation of the Fujiwara armbar being applied there by Rick King. What that'll do is hyperextend the arm and the elbow and make it very hard for Jimmy the Kid to utilize any further high-flying ability because his balance will be compromised. Kid now trying to counter, trying to put the shoulders down on King. King's gonna be careful here. King once again bringing him down. Jimmy the Kid, I'm not, I'm sure that Jimmy the Kid realized he would not get a pinning succession there. But what he's trying to do is force Rick King to relinquish this painful maneuver. Jimmy the Kid with a pinning counter and no. King out the back door, King almost getting caught off guard there. Now both men to a vertical basin once again trying to get the advantage.